Hi, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Miss Atika, or you can call me Teacher Atika. Uh, today we are going to do a quick revision on literature. Uh, this is going to be on a novel, Sing to the Dawn by Min Fong Ho. So let's get started. All right. So this is um, a discussion, a revision on novel for SPM. Saint to the Dawn by Min Fong Ho. Let's take a look at the note. Uh, so this is a, simply a quick revision for the last sprint. Here's a timeline on novel, novel question. In 2013, uh, the task was on uh, an important decision made by one of the characters, how it affects other character. Okay, you can see here. Uh, the, it takes an important decision by a character and how it gives effects to other character, singular. And this one also is also singular. 2014, uh, the question was, one has to struggle to improve one's life. How far is this true? So here, once means so around. It refers to Dawan. And in 2015, one character who is a good role model for teenagers. Describe the character and give reasons. So this is a good role model, one character. In 2016, uh, it's a question on a scene that makes you happy or sad. Give reasons why. Okay, so this is an event in 2017. A value, a value that is important to one of the characters give reasons why. In 2017, uh, it's about a value, a value that is important to one of the characters, give reasons why. In 2018, it's about one problem faced by the main character, give opinion how the problem was solved. Okay. And in 2019, a character, you dislike and why you dislike him or her. So it's about Basically, in consistently in 2016, 2019, it's consistently talk about just one aspect. If either is a scene or a value or a problem or a character, so consistently it, it requires you requires you to do only one. However, the other task comes after that. You should be focusing on what that uh, that you should add to the to answer the question. Uh, for example, it can it can be the Another additional task could can be give reasons, uh, describe the character, uh, describe uh, effects, so something like that. And you should be alert on how the task is given, how many tasks that you have to answer in order to uh, complete the uh, task. So in 2020, what kind of question will be asked for novel in SPM 2020, well, we have no idea. Basically, um, well, novel, you should know what is in the novel. And then uh, basically, if once you understand the novel, you know the events, what tahu jalan cerita, you know the important events, and you know the character, inshallah, it will not be much of a problem for you to to answer the question. Here, uh, some tips. Uh, first, read. Read the question carefully. Um, you have to check how many tasks is given in the question. There is, it is impossible to only have one task. Usually, there will be two or three tasks. So, be careful on that. You have to check how, uh, how many tasks that you have to fulfill. And number two, uh, you have to identify, you have to identify the task. Uh, what is it about? Is it a character? Is it about event? Is it about team? Is it about moral value? Is it about reasons? And of all the tasks, how many do they want? Is it just one or many? So, kena cakna dengan um, clue, uh, apa, nouns yang ada S ataupun tak ada S. Contoh, a character, one. An event, one. Reasons, with S, you have to give more than one, two or above. But I will advise you to give only two. It helps you to get focused and then you also can elaborate a lot more. But it depends on you. If you can write to three, 
uh, items or three reasons, that will be fine. And draft. Draft, you have to uh, draft the points or idea for every task. Scribble the paper. The messier, the better. So you have to make sure that you jot down everything that you have in mind. Whatever it is, whether you use it or not, you make sure that you write something on the no, uh, on the paper. Um, and then next, you have to be detailed. You have to be detailed where give a detailed response. You have to give detailed elaboration on evidence and also personal opinion. Next, relevant. Make sure it is relevant to the task. Make sure the development of either is consistently relevant to the task. Now, some students, they have they are very good at doing the first part. The introduction is fine and then the first body paragraph is excellent. And then when it comes to the third body paragraph, they become slopey. They macam tak, tak mantap dekat situ. It becomes very weak. Kita nampak macam banyak lompong, tak bagus kan? So it has to be consistent throughout the essay. That's why it would uh, different, uh, differentiate you between an excellent uh candidate and also the moderate candidate and finally you have to check check the essay spend five minutes to check the final writing do you fulfill all the tasks how about your tenses how about your personal response how about the evidence do you need to add more is it enough so th these are the things that you need to check when you do the final checking for the essay okay the keywords um know the synonyms uh, events the the synonym will be scene and incident part of story so these are the things that i need you to know as well when just in case it, it is uh you know it is uh it appears in the uh, question paper and then quality quality maksudnya ciri -ciri. it depends on uh you know a person equals to it is uh, the synonym is a value or characteristic next a uh, moral value it also means lesson. It also means message. Okay. Or and another one is what have you learned? Something that you learned. Keyword is learned. And uh, themes and moral values. Well, info for the themes uh, for this novel is determination to pursue education. Kesungguhan untuk me, um, menyambung pe, uh, pembelajaran. And family is important. Kepentingan uh, keluarga itu uh, penting and gender discrimination uh, ketidaksamaan jantina moral values, we should uh, treat everyone equally uh, kita perlulah bersikap ada kepada semua orang education is the key to end poverty pendidikan adalah kunci untuk mengakhiri kepapaan kemiskinan, uh, family support is important so kawan-kawan keluarga adalah sangat penting the seven important events uh, I'm going to talk about the general timeline, the general general events that you have to remember when it comes to the novel. It depends on how you see what is important, but what I have here is seven. And uh, hopefully that you at least you will know, you get to know, especially this one. I'm focusing on the struggling writers, yang pelajar yang sederhana dah agak lemah. Hopefully they know the events. So at least in the examination, they can write something and then they will not leave the uh, paper blank. Okay, the first one, when Dawan won the scholarship. So, when Dawan won the scholarship, her classmates congratulated her. She went home and she told father she won, uh, she win the scholarship. Father was angry. He did not give permission to Dawan to study. Uh, he was a traditional man who believed that it was foolish and wasteful to send girls to school. Okay, kata kunci the scholarship. Father, angry, permission, Foolish, wasteful, girls to school. And then next, um, he father once wanted Kwai to get a scholarship. He said that Dawan took brother her brother's chance away from him. Dawan's grandmother gave her support to Dawan. Kwai was sad, angry and jealous because he also wanted the scholarship to further his studies. The relationship between Dawan and Kwai becomes sour after Kwai said he might tell their father that he got the second place. So... This is what happened. When Dawan won the scholarship, it became, uh, it began, uh, it, it's the end of their close uh, relationship as siblings and it's the beginning of the conflict that happens in the family. Conflict between Kwai and father, uh, sorry, conflict between Dawan and father and also between Dawan and 
require. So at the element that you need to remember is that a support is what being smart, stout and smart, support, rejection, jealousy, ke, uh, kecem, uh, kecemburuan, unfair, determination and family conflict. Okay. When Dawan went to Noise house, this is event number two. Dawan went to Noise house with mother. Noah is her cousin. At Noise house, Dawan saw postcards and pictures of city scenes. She liked them. Dawan wants to know about life in the city. However, Noah refused to support Dawan. Noah said that the city was not good for a girl like her. Dawan was frustrated because Noah lied about the city. She thought everything in the city is good. Dawan still wanted to go to the city. She wanted to see it by herself. Now, this is the effort. The first effort Dawan pergi ke rumah Noi. Noi ni dia sepupunya. She went with mother. She walked three kilometers. Uh, that's how determined she is under the hot sun. Uh, di bawah matahari yang sangat panas. Why she go to Noi house? Why she went to Noi house? Sebab dia nak tahu kehidupan dalam bandar. She want to know life in the city because Noi has the experience to work in the city. But Noi, even though she is a relative, uh, distant family, Noi did not support her. So that's the first, uh, so the, that one was a bit upset, but she decided to see the city herself. Uh, event number three, when Dawan went to the marketplace, Dawan went to the marketplace alone. Usually her mother and grandmother would take her there, but not this time. The marketplace was busy. Dawan did not have enough money to buy the lotus. She only had 10 cents. She went to a fat man. Okay, so kata kunci dia, dia pergi marketplace alone, sorang-sorang. You can see how brief it is. And then the marketplace was busy. She did not have enough money. Remember, that one is poor, very poor. Uh, and then she only had 10 cents, 2 cents saja. And then she went to the fat man. Okay, sambung. He said the price for a lotus was 20 cents. He did not want to sell it for 10 cents. Bao saw this. She called Dawan. She gave the lotus for free to Dawan. They became friend, friends. Dawan told her that she wanted to see the monk. She will take the lotus to the temple. She needed the monk's help. So uh, she has an argument with the fat man lah. Uh, uh, seorang peniaga ni dia, dia uh, nak beli lotus sebab tu 20 sen tapi dia dah 10 sen je. Jadi dia tak cukup dia, dia cuba haggle the price. Dia cuba tawar menawar but it then failed. Bao, she sees a girl. Uh, she's a flower girl. Uh, she saw this and she was so kind that she helped that one. That's how they became friends. Okay, so the element here in this determination, bravery and kindness. Determination because that one went to the market alone. And then bravery, uh, she was brave to, to go there. Uh, determination means, uh, uh, determination here is uh, she was determined to go to the, to see the head monk and want to win a head monk's favor uh, to get the married. So that's why she's determined to go to the market even though she was very poor. And kindness, bow show kindness to Dawan. Uh, event number four, when Dawan see the head monk. Dawan went to see the head monk. Dawan entered the temple. Temple tu, uh, kita panggil uh, Quail. The head monk was reading the Buddhist guidebook. She waited for him to finish the reading. The monk, the monk left for breakfast. Dawan waited for him in the courtyard di kawasan lapang. The head monk came and asked why she was there. She told him about the scholarship. She wanted to. She wanted him to talk to father. The head monk did not want to help her. For him, Dawan was only a girl and did not need to continue her studies in the city. It, it would be just wasting her time and spirit. Dawan was angry and disappointed. She then left the place. Kat sini, uh, why she saw the head monk? Why she, she did not see anyone else? Dia nak jumpa head monk sebab ayah dia ni seorang yang sangat menghormati. Ketua Sami ni, Hekman ni Ketua Sami So bayangkanlah dia seorang uh, Orang agama yang di, disegani Dekat Thailand, because in Thailand uh, Agama rasmi adalah agama Buddha Jadi orang agamanya di kampung ni uh, Kita panggil Tok Sami ni Sangat dihormati oleh semua orang So she she wants the the Hekman to support her And she wants the Hekman To actually persuade father To allow her to go study in the city Ha macam tu Okay, so the Hekman Um 
she was patient tau. Dia pergi jumpa Hek Mang. She went to the temple. She walked there alone under the hot sun. And then that one, um, she waited. She was very patient. She waited for the Hek Mang alone in the courtyard. And then she even uh, waited for the Hek Mang to read the book. And then uh, the Hek Mang to have, to have breakfast. And then she told about this, uh, the the problem she has. And then her intention, they not had mom to support dia, bagi tau father to support dia. Had mom rejected, saying that education is foolish, tak, tak untung untuk dia. Sebab dia just a girl, that one get so mad, sangat marah. And she left the place. Okay, so that's a bit of... of it's very brave because she she's brave. She was a small child. She, she was... She was just a young girl, umur berapa je. Okay, baru sekolah menengah kan. And then like she just, uh, because of her determination to study in the city, she was brave to argue with the head monk. So the element we can see here, determination, bravery, unfair. The um, head monk is unfair and rejection. Okay, the, f uh, the event number five, a fight at the marketplace. That one was frustrated. She walked back to the marketplace and made, met Bao. Bao told Dawan to be positive. Uh, she asked her to free a sparrow, which I was very angry because of that. They fought quite tried to protect Bao. However, Kwai became angry when Bao said he was a bully to Dawan. There was a fight and Dawan's ankle was hurt. Luckily, Noi was there. She treated Dawan's wound. Boy gave her an umbrella. Dawan then left the place with her injured ankle in the rain. Baik, kat sini dia berlaku pergaduhan di kawasan uh, pasar. Dawan berasa kecewa, dia balik ke uh, marketplace, dia jumpa balik Bao. Bao ni bagus lah. Bao is very smart. Dia bagi advice, dia bagi support dekat Dawan tu. So, Dawan daripada down tu jadi positif balik. Okay, so she become positive. And then, um, Bao bagi tahu Dawan, free the sparrow. She, sparrow ni is a symbolized to freedom. You so you see, masa dekat 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 uh, marketplace, the sparrow ni, um, how they sold the sparrow is that for every sparrow that they, they, they that anyone want to release, they have to pay some money. Jadi the sparrow is put in a cage. So when when the when those she want to release the sparrow, it's a it's a symbol to freedom. So the cage represents Dawan's life in the village. She is a, in a cage in uh, uh, her her family her her house uh, the community she live in that like she cannot go out and then there's a, a door there's only one door that door is uh, the the uh, the opportunity for her to to escape from the uh, village and then there's a key the key that belong that that can make her to escape from the cage is her scholarship. So by winning a scholarship to study, that one is actually holding a key, holding a key uh, to to uh, to to her freedom. However, we even though that one have has the key, she was hesitated tau. Macam sparrow tu lah, but dah lama sangat dia kurung. She was so, she was in the cage for very long time. Then bila, the, uh, bila pintu tu dibuka, like, uh, uh, the, the sparrow become hesitated. Dia macam, he was in doubt. Dawan pun macam tu, like she has the key to end her poverty, to continue her study. But she was kind of hesitated. Should she accept the scholarship? Should, uh, uh, should, should Dawan reject the scholarship? So that's the uh, dilemma that Dawan has. But then again, when once Dawan, uh, once the sparrow once uh, after some time the sparrow once the, the the door is open the sparrow slowly carefully go approach the door and then fly high into the sky and become free so that's goes to dawan that's how uh, Daw uh bao tried to tell dawan this is the freedom that she has that she has to take the opportunity to grab the, this one chance to change her life to chase her dream and then to pursue her education so this is a very uh, meaningful uh, symbol uh, symbol in the story. Vichai was angry. Vichai ni abang kepada Bao lah. Huh? He was very brutal. He was violent. He was unkind. So that's what happened. And then Kwai become, became angry. 
Bao said that Kawai is a bully to Dawan. It is of course because Kawai was was very unkind, was very selfish, kan? Jadi dia bergaduh dekat situ, tapi mojo lah Noi ada. Uh, Noi bagi Umbrella, uh, apa? Noi treated Dawan soon and Bao bagi Umbrella dekat Dawan. So she, Dawan was injured in her ankle and she walked there. Masa tu dah hujan kan? She walked in the rain. So the the element here you can see support from boy, uh, from boy, support from Noi and then a bully. Kwai was a bully and he was unkind. Vichai was a bully also. He was unkind. Okay. Next, so when Dawan walked home after the fight, Dawan walked slowly when, and went to the river. Kwai was on the old bridge. Dawan tried not to face him. She was very upset because of what had happened. However, she realized that she needed to be nice to Kwai. Then she left the umbrella for Kwai. She walked towards home in the rain. Her ankle was still hurt. When Kwai saw this, he ran to join her. He shared the umbrella with her. Okay, so the, the, when the one walk, uh, walk home after the fight, it is uh, an important part as well. Uh, because they are still fighting. They are, they are having this cold war between, you know, the civil war. It's not a civil war. They, they have this war between siblings, the rivalry. They have this uh, uh, unhealthy relationship at this moment. The conflict has become even more tense, okay? However, at the old bridge, quite try to think, they might change to try to rationalize, rationalize of what he has done to Dawan. They might not want to be able to Dawan was still very upset. He was so, she was so mad and was so frustrated because Adik beradik sendiri tak nak sokong dia and then adik beradik sendiri yang cuba men merampas hak dia. So Kwai tried to steal her, her her chance to study the city. Of course dia mengarahkan. But then again she was very mature. Dia tak nak, dia macam dia kata okay like this has to end. Dia tak nak dah. Dia like she need to be nice. So the one even though she speak upset, she, being a loving sister, she left the umbrella to Kwai. Then they sanggup by uh, balik ke rumah jalan kaki. It shows how loving she is to Kwai. And and then when she Kwai saw this, like he was shocked. Like he didn't expect Dawan to do that. The kindness that Dawan has in her heart made him realize that he was very cruel to Dawan. So that's what has happened. Eleven here you can see loving and caring. The, the sibling, the, the bond between sibling that they have. The last one, number seven, when father decided to allow Dawan to study in the city. Dawan and Kwai went home. Father was very angry. He knew Kwai placed the second for the scholarship. Grandmother told Dawan to be strong. Father wanted Kwai to study in the city. Father rejected Dawan because she was a girl. Kwai decided that Dawan would study in the city and not him. Dawan tried to persuade father to let her go to the city. Finally, father agreed with her decision. Okay, so father finally allowed Dawan to study in the city. Uh, they persuaded father, uh, ni kat rumah lah, ni setting ni kat rumah. Kwai has actually made his decision. Masa tu father dah tahu yang Kwai dapat nombor dua. And then grandmother ni consistently, consistently was always supportive since the beginning to the end. Dia tak pernah berubah pun. Like her support, her love, her encouragement to Dawan is 100%. She's the best, okay? She gave the supreme encouragement to Dawan. And uh, Kwai, when they reach home, they orang dah sampai rumah, Kwai bagi tahu ayah dia, if Dawan cannot go to the city to study, she, he will reject the scholarship and dia akan bagi dekat tak cik. Jadi, father like, oh, okay, like father was so surprised. Tak sangka benda itu akan keluar daripada mulut Kwai. But at the end of the day, have the debate and everything. Finally, ayah, father bagi kebenaran untuk Dawan study in the city. So, when father decided to allow Dawan to study in the city, apa kesan dia? Number one, it ends the conflict between Dawan and father. It ends the conflict that they have in the family. It shows that it, it finally Dawan can achieve, uh, pursue her dream to study. And then, uh, kesan dia kepada Kwai, like Kwai unfortunately he has to wait for the next year because he has to stay in the village and she cannot go to the city because he failed to get the scholarship but next year he can try again. So that's the importance of having this decision. 
elemen yang ada kat sini adalah strict determination and empathy. Um, I will stop here for uh, the uh, um, for discussion of events. Uh, I'll be continue in uh, the second part for the novel for the for the uh, discussion and also the practice. So, uh, so that is the end for the first part. Um, we are, we con we're going to continue for the part. Two. I can fly the sky. Oh. Never gonna stay.